a good litmus test if a man cares about you is if he knows the names of the people you care about most. Thank you for this comment because I, this is not just with dad. So as I was saying in the last one, my dad didn't even spell my name wrong until the day he died. It actually caused this huge drama when I went to get married. How did you all, anyway. Ooh, look, there they are, they're out again. Oh, look at those. Ah, she's eating. That's the aggressive pony. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So the first time I realized how important the, like things like names are was my, uh, my first French boyfriend. He ended up being a bit of a mess because he'd never been to therapy and had all kinds of stuff. But he treated me really well in the beginning. He, he ate my all the time, almost like too much. I was like, whoa, can we every once in a while have a quickie? <laughs> he was consistent. He was thoughtful. He like did all the things. And until I actually saw that, that men could do that, I was like, oh, this feels nice. I'm never worried if he's if he likes me, he made it very clear. Now, I've talked about the problems of that relationship in other videos, that's not what this is about. But the first time I realized how different it felt for a man to know the names of all the people I care about. My best friend Liz, he knew her name right away because I talk about her all the time. He knew my sister's name, he knew my stepmom's name. And I felt bad because, and my husband, the exact same thing. My husband knew the names of everyone important to me right away. Why? Because he listens. He pays attention because he cares, right? Like that's so much of this. What's behind so much of this is if men actually care. You know what I mean? Men pay attention to things that they care about. My dad loved football. Everything football. He bought, a, he bought us Tennessee Titans um, sweatshirts for Christmas. And I hate football. I literally resent football because... Um, I, it was very clear my dad loved football more than me. So, of course, I'm like, eh. <laughs> like, I hate that I hate a sport because a man loved it. You know? A lot of women can relate to that, especially with their husbands. They hate golf for a reason because their husbands care way more about golf than their family. Or video games. Whatever it is that a man gives way too much attention to instead of actually valuing and cherishing and respecting and pouring into the woman and, and, and the children, but the woman especially who he's married to, who does all this for him, that is gonna make you hate the things that he loves. No, I mean, I just bear. That's why they hated when I came after their hobbies. They're like, Mel Hamlin says you shouldn't have hobbies. Men should have hobbies. It's the way you care more about your hobbies than anything else, because it's you're selfish. <laughs> but I swear, anytime they do these videos, uh, but where they, you know, interview a couple and they're like, what's her birthday? And he's like, uh, you know, what's her eye color? Like, girl, run. You know what I mean? In fact, I mean, I've written about this uh, for Glamour. I'm like the dude in this relationship. I was like, I am, I act a lot like a dude in my relationships because I've been so screwed by men that I just like, you know? So like, I, ha I have to make a, an effort to be like, okay, Remember the names of all these people. I have to tell myself that because I'm so used to men being just disinterested in me that I matched that energy. So my husband has actually taught me how to love, how to show love because I'm so used to withholding at this point as a self-protective measure, as a trauma response. And he comes from a very loving family, so it comes a lot easier to him. So much of my issues, they come from dad, which is why I, I hate that we make fun of like daddy issues. So she's got daddy issues. Yeah, they make fun of me for having a dad that sucks. Okay, cool. Now, believe me, I've made videos on toxic boy moms and like, I, I hold m women accountable too, all right? I've got a lot of crap I gotta fix. And I've worked a lot on healing myself. But I swear to God, I will defend single moms to the day I die because I was raised by one. The biggest, best favor she ever did was not date while she was uh, raising us. To, to not put us at risk of another man ruining our life and teaching us some messed up stuff. Also not role modeling what it's like to tiptoe around a man, right? Because she would have. Instead, I got to see her in her glory as a lioness who protected her kids as best she could, poured into her kids, had an active social life at church. Unfortunately, I hate church. That's where a bunch of predators are. That's where my friend Scott found me. But, you know, she did her best and she did not obsess over a man. She didn't center a man. She didn't care about men. And I swear that saved my life, y'all. Because given what damage my dad did in the four days a month that I saw him, I can't imagine how different I would have ended up if the man actually lived in our house. Because feeling not seen, feeling 
just in, yeah, invisible, not loved, not cared for, be, feeling like you're the parent of a grown ass man when you're a child. For that person to not even know how to spell your name, that does so much damage. That's what sets up so many women to date men that suck and who don't know, you know, their eye color. So if you wanna, you know, improve your dating life, heal your trauma around your dad or your mom. There's a lot of, a lot of people who have terrible relationships with their mom or were abused by their mom, they end up taking those into their romantic relationship. So it doesn't even matter. You know, we can do this with in, in any relationship, regardless of gender, but healing all of my trauma around my dad, which I'm still going to, I'm still doing, I'll be doing to the day I die. But you know, working really hard on that is what changed my dating life. Cause I was set up to expect nothing. I was set up to be a planet that orbits around the King baby sun, you know? So of course, that was normal. So it's really weird to have somebody who is not at all interested in that. And if anything, pours into me and loves the crap out of me so much that I'm like, wow, okay, I need to match this, <laughs> right? This cold, dead heart, you know, it's finally thawing. The point is, is that men pay attention to things they care about. Now, narcissists do this too, okay? So like, there's, there's no like foolproof method here, y'all. But breadcrumb guy, for instance, that's one of the things that made me realize I need to break up with his ass. Six months in, he brought over some crap. And I was like, I'm allergic to that. I've told you that. You know, and he's like, oh. It's like I'd never said it because I hadn't. If someone's not listening, it's you might as well not say it. Ah, y'all, we deserve so much better. You deserve better. Pay attention to how much they pay attention.